Hi everyone. Um, I know it's been a ridiculously long time since I've put out a video and I just wanted to do a little short show and tell video on some things that my mom sent me. Um, this is also a new uh, or a different camera I'm using so I'm a little I'm a little shy about my voice on it and the way it picks up my voice. Um, so I apologize if uh, if my speaking seems a little loud. I'm kind of kind of still playing around with uh, a good sort of modulation. So um, anyway, on to the goodies. This is uh, I'm a big fan of the show Dexter and. Uh, really smooth, um, almost, you know, it almost has like a soapstone feel to it, it's nice and substantial, <laughs> and uh, let me turn it around, it's got that graphic, um, any of you who are familiar with the show Dexter, I'm sure you're familiar with the blood slide uh, motif. And uh, inside is this Dexter ink pen. It's kind of fun. And then it's got black ink, which I prefer. Keychain. I love it. <laughs> I don't currently have uh, a cute keychain on my key ring. I kind of the one that I had on there was really heavy. I think I moved it to something else. So I'll enjoy having this. Let's put it back in the bag. Whoops. Yeah, I'm really. Excuse me, that was really loud. I apologize, guys. This is a really low quality ASMR video. I'm just, I think that's why it's taken me so long to put out another one. I'm just really, I guess I'm easily distracted by what I'm doing while I'm making the video, in this case at least. Anyway, um, off the topic of texture things, there's this philosophy eyeliner. It's really, uh, really soft and creamy. You hardly have to press to make it draw. So I think the whole point of that is so you don't have to pull and stretch your eyelids to make it go on smoothly. Speaking of relaxing presentations, if you ever catch the um, the main philosophy representative on QVC. Uh, obviously since it's QVC sometimes the presentation is a little more fast and abrupt but on some products she can be really relaxing when she talks about them and uh, I might just rub this off because I think it's going to distract me through the rest of the video if I don't okay and then is just a little spoon. Um, I like little spoons. They're fun for stirring tea and coffee and eating yogurt or ice cream. It's just more fun with a little spoon. This is an antique one that my mom got uh, off eBay so it's been used or owned by another person or persons and that's what I like about it. It just, I don't know, it's just this little little piece of silverware that uh, you know, I don't know who it belonged to, where it came from, 
what it's been used to stir, what its story is, but I just like it. And, uh, yeah, see the detail on the handle. Now, uh, I will use this as a segue for my next item. Speaking of people who collect spoons, um, one of, you'll notice under my favorites, there's lots of videos from Yang Haiying. And I really enjoy her her style of videos. They're not um, they're not intentional ASMR videos, um, but they can be very relaxing. Uh, and I, I think that's what I like about them. I I enjoy it when uh, people kind of are just relaxing without without trying. Um, they just happen to be that way. <laughs> um, not that I have any problem with. All the wonderful videos made on YouTube where people are handling things a little more deliberately than usual. But, uh, anyway. So, uh, again, one of my videos, uh, or one of the videos under my favorites, um, Yang um, Haiying has this box of chocolates that she's exploring and um, my mom noticed it and um, just for fun hunted down these chocolates to send me. Um, I've never tried them before neither is she. She said it, uh, they weren't easy to find. So when I saw this box I immediately recognized it and I guess ultimately it's what's inspired me to make this short little video. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off. It'll be kind of loud, I think. video, uh, it's 10 minutes long and she thoroughly explores every bit of the box and I'm not going to attempt to replicate that here, but I just did want to take a little time to share it with you. Um, these flowers are kind of raised off the box. Which I like. And, um, Haiying speaks, uh, fairly fluent French, or fluent French, so sh if she's um, showing a box that has French writing on it, she'll pick out that to read, usually. It always sounds really nice. Um, so yes, Rose of the Dolomites. <laughs> so these are hazelnut pralines. Um, and uh, I'm ready to I'm ready to get into this. Let's see. In here. Congratulations, if you're reading this, you've picked up the Rose of the Dolomites. Probably masterpieces in unique shape. Mm. Yum. So it's Italian influenced, it sounds. Let's see. It's exquisite, probably masterpieces in a unique shape. Inspired by the Alpine Rose, typical of the Dolomites, the most beautiful mountain. The Italian Alps. Mm. Let's see. Now, in Haying's video, um, she kind of does what's, you know, 
makes an image similar to this one by taking a piece of chocolate and cutting it with a knife and then uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to sink my teeth directly into this. Um, it's just... as pretty as a picture. Now let me mess it up. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. can see the resemblance. It um, reminds me of those, um, what are they called? Um, come on, what are they called? Ah, the Ferrero Rochers. Um, it has that crisp, uh, crisp wafer element to it. Mm. Now, mm. that's really good. I've noticed that there's um, kind of um, among the ASMR community, there's lots of people who enjoy eating sounds. I've never. I like hearing people eat, but I find it more appetizing than relaxing. Um, so I guess it just so happens there are some eating noises in this one, and I hope they don't. Um, uh, I hope they don't come out sounding disgusting. Hmm. <laughs> watching. Um, this has been, I know, a very clumsy video.